Hello, I'm Malcolm James. I'm the Senior Technology and Business Solutions Manager at CEC Foundation. I've been at the foundation for about four years, and my main responsibilities are providing technology direction for the organization, from business systems to hardware and the management of IT staff. For over 20 years, the CDC Foundation has been growing, especially in the last five years or so. Um, but in that growth, the technology to run the foundation has lagged behind. And so we had many manual paper-based processes. We had people working in silos, limited access to data, um, Excel kings and queens, data hoarding. And so we had a desire to replace uh, legacy systems with best of breed solutions and, and really go into the cloud. And that whole transition, um, the requirements for it really focused on security, availability, ease of use, uh, dashboards and reporting, and integration ability, and single sign-on. And change management was a big concern as well. So, you know, we're not only replacing five systems, but we're also replacing long-standing processes and siloed operations uh, that, that do end up giving um, increased reach and visibility. And that can cause a lot of hesitancy and intimidation with the staff. But ultimately we asked, you know, how can we centralize our operations from a global accessibility and efficiency standpoint? So it was a bit of a struggle for us to not only determine what to connect, but how to connect and when to connect it. And also what our business and various projects required. And so we understood that we needed a solution that was going to be customizable, powerful, worked well with our core systems, yet was also able to, um, yet we'd also be able to build and maintain them um, as the organization continues to grow. So in that vetting and discovery process, we looked at Dell, Boomi, and Jitterbit probably uh, uh, most closely, as well as a, few, as a few others. But we ultimately decided to go with Soligo uh, because we could clearly envision learning and growing with the platform. We started to look at, when we started to look at integration, the first thing that we did was identify what we call the brains of our operation. Um, so NetSuite is the system that we always viewed as the center where data would always flow to or from. And it was obviously a central touch point. So we always kept that in mind, um, not only in selecting NetSuite, but during that NetSuite implementation process. And being a nonprofit, our CRM is also critical. So we knew we would tackle the Salesforce NetSuite integration first. Um, expense management was one of our most manual and disconnected processes. So that one was easy to identify for automation. And then ADP is our employee data source um, that can help tie some of these pieces together. Expense management was one of our more cumbersome organization-wide processes that we had to modernize. Um, every aspect of expense management was manual and disconnected um, from purchasing a flyer hotel manually via a travel agency to the paper expense report that accompanied that trip. Purchasing cards also were not integrated into our ERP at all. Um, so really every aspect of expense was primarily managed outside of a system on paper. And so this whole process was user facing for a majority of employees. So it had a quick value add. Um, the integration allows us to leverage automated expense management systems. Everything can be completed and tracked in systems or on mobile devices and can be fully paperless. So again, this is a, a big increase in efficiency. Um, the good thing about this integration is that um, not much advanced or custom work was really necessary, even though we did leverage custom elements that existed within our NetSuite platform. Automating HR processes is a current workflow that we're tackling. And so we wanted to drive more employee-related automations across our systems, um, things like automated provisioning, headcount tracking, and um, sharing roster information between systems. Having all those things would enable um, systems-driven requisitions and changes for employees. So far for this integration, we've leveraged um, templates to the extent that ADP allows. Um, we, we do have a payroll process that can get uh, fairly complex. And so the value of IPaaS may be the most important takeaway of anything I've spoken on so far. Um, I, I do truly believe it can change how you approach your business systems and how your organization um, functions as a whole. This whole process has definitely been a game changer for us. Uh, we couldn't imagine doing business today without going through this process. We, we definitely have many moments when we come together and we look back in amazement at where we're at compared to where we were, and it's truly mind-blowing. Uh, automation is, is also allowing us to take on more and more opportunities and really drive our growth. We're also continuing to find efficiencies with the automated flows that we already have.
So in regards to next steps, um, as an organization, we truly feel like we're just scratching the surface of what we're capable of and the reach and impact that we can make. Uh, of course, this is, a, this is a great feeling because it's almost our mission verbatim, you know, to do more faster or together our impact is greater.